Now let us perform the final objective that is post processing the left file. Uh, first, I will show you the code snippet to identify the section where we actually do the modification. Okay. So the first step is to open the abstract left file and copy the contents that starts with the macro definition and till the end of all the cells macro definition. So you need to copy all those macro definitions from the abstract left file. Next, paste the copied macro definition in the GPDK tick left file. That is nothing but your technological descriptive left file in a place where it is shown here. That is the end of the layer definition, but still before the end of the library statement. Okay. So next we need to specify the site information, uh, which is basically placed between the manufacturing grid spec and the beginning of the layer definitions. But what is the site information? Where to obtain this information? The answer to this question is you. So you have to provide this statement. So in order for you to specify this information, you need to have some understanding of what is the site information is and how to specify this information. So we will look into the syntax of the site information, try to understand the keywords used and later we try to provide the site information at this particular location. As shown, the site information is contained within the keyword site followed by the site name and the end of the site name. Since we have all the cells under the common single site name named as core here the site name would actually signifies to the site named as core next we have to specify which class this particular site belongs and you might have already guessed the appropriate class will belong to core category the third line specifies the symmetry of the cells that belongs to the site named as core so this is something like while arranging the cells of our synthesized netlist file in the place and routing process, are these cells are allowed to rotate, flip horizontally or vertically is what has been specified in this particular statement. Next comes the size information. As we know that all the cells under the core site has a common height which is 15 micrometer. But the specification for the width might confuse you as different cells have different widths associated with them. So one has to note that either the width or the height of the cell is always a multiple of pitch size and that pitch size we know that it is equal to 0.6 micron. So uh, we will use this value as the minimum width of any cell that is contained inside the site named as core. So our final code should resemble something like this. The site name is given as core and the size has a width of 0.6 and the height of 15 micron. And the class that this particular site core belongs is a core and it, it has the symmetry as XY with the end statement here. Okay. So we'll put this site information between the manufacturing grid and the starting of the layer statement in our GPDK underscore tech left. That is nothing but our technology left file. So once this is done, we can save this particular file. So I would advise you to follow all those four steps using a gedit editor in your Cadence server and then complete the left file generation process. Thank you.